All right, just to start off, um, you know, so very proud of our football team. Um, you know, the way that this team has responded, the way that they've grown throughout the year, um, a lot of adversity, uh, a couple setbacks. But at the end of the day, you know, they continue to work. They continue to believe in each other. Uh, so grateful for, for the belief they have in our coaching staff and what we were able to do as we, as we grew through the season. I've uh, seen a lot of maturity. Um, you know, we talked to them at, you know, here at the beginning of the month on the bye week. Is people remember what you do in November. And this football team responded. And we did what it, what it took to get to this point. And uh, now to be back-to-back -back West Division champions, uh, could not be more proud of this football team. Uh, you know, obviously, this sets up another, another opportunity. Uh, going back down to Orlando, an opponent that we are uh, becoming very familiar with the next uh, these last few years, um, a great opponent, but uh, sets up for a classic game. And uh, you know, I know these th these guys are going to continue to work, going to continue to prepare, uh, and we're going to go we're going to go. Uh, you'll put our best foot forward and, and go compete for a conference championship. Uh, but uh, you know, just so proud of our guys, the way that we controlled that game, uh, start to finish. You know, it was uh, it was definitely a special game that will always be remembered. Oh, coach, you guys were. Four and four. I think a lot of people, when you got the chance to, to be where you are today, how much does the culture, the winning culture that you guys have built, help you to go four and zero in those last four games? Uh, it's what we believe in. It's what it's who we are. Uh, when you when you assemble a group of young men uh, that you are true competitors, that that want to be successful, not just on the football field. Everybody has that aspiration, but guys that want to be successful in every aspect of their life, and they're willing to work for it. They're willing to put in the the, the, the preparation. Um, you know, you're you're willing to to respond when you get knocked down. That's what that's what makes up a champion. Um, you know, I told these guys a few weeks ago, I said, man, you definitely control your own destiny. And even though mathematically nobody would have said that when it came to, uh, to, to our pursuit for a divisional championship, but we always controlled how we responded. We always controlled how we prepared and we control how the, the heart that we have for this football team. And, you know, I'm just so happy. I'm happy for the, for the city of Memphis, uh, for this community to be able to have uh, this moment ABC, national televised game, to see our team, through adversity, still respond one more time. And to be able to control that game in the second half, the energy, the passion that showed up. Uh, I thought our, our crowd was, was uh, incredible when it came to, to the situational. Uh, you know, football being loud on, when we were on defense, you really got those guys, uh, uh, you know, kind of threw them off at times. Our defense did a great job. Uh, we missed a couple opportunities. I thought we could have had a couple more takeaways in that game. Uh, but, uh, you know, our guys, they played so very hard, and it was a great win. Mike, do you think it just warmed down running the ball in the second half, just pounded them? And well, it was it was part of our game plan. We knew we wanted to uh, to try to wear them down throughout the game. You know, we had 50 snaps in the first half, so we were right on pace. You know, that we had a couple of the turnovers that. Uh, that, that kind of set us back, you know, uh, you know that's where that adversity showed up. But then we knew we get, when, in the second half, we just had to continue to do what we do. We had to be efficient. We couldn't turn the ball over anymore. Uh, we had to make sure that we, we finished drives. I mean, we were over 50% uh, on third downs, which was, which was critical in the game. And our guys just competed. Um, you know, at the end of the game, to be able to get in uh, 22 personnel and spend, I think, the entire fourth quarter in it and just pound the ball, that was, that, that's a joy for a coach. You know, it was, you know, you sit there and you think about the moment. And, you know, obviously this it was a, it was a tie game at the, at the time, I believe. And uh, um, you sit there and you, you think of who you are. You think of who you have. You think of the belief that you have in, in those guys up front. And there was no doubt in anybody's mind. Uh, you know, I talk, talking to Coach uh, Dylan Ham on the headset, he goes, Coach, this is who we are. And, uh, and that, was a, that was a special play. Our guys from went, went from that point, uh, that point forward and totally controlled the game to the end. And, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great moment. Coach, how does this one differ from last year, back-to-back -back champs? Does this one feel different? Uh, it, it really does. I mean, because of the, the way that we've had to mature. Um, you know, we, we only had – today was senior day. I mean, these, these guys that just finished up their last game ever at the Liberty Bowl, uh, it was a small group. I think we had 13 total, but, you know, really we've only had eight guys that have been a part of this, you know, kind of growing throughout. Um, and as we sit there and we look at what occurred, we had to, we had to have leaders emerge. Um, it, was, it was the smallest group of seniors I've ever been around. And so to see them go through that process, that's what makes it special. You know, there are plenty of people that were counting us out. There are plenty of questions about uh, the, the culture and the, the direction of what, what we were doing. But we never, we never got focused on the outside. We just totally focused on the inside, continued to grow, continued to build. And I mean, that's, this, this game, 
right? The divisional championship. I mean, it represents our, our city, our university in such a great way because we know how to respond. We're going to continue to fight, and uh, that's what makes this one special, so, so much more special. Coach, you had a couple of uh, penalties early on. Uh, normally, I know you said that with penalties like that, it's kind of hard to be successful in the game. Did you have a particular message to the team to, to make that stop? Yes, sir. I mean, we just have to continue to play smart. I mean, you, we came out, I thought starting the game, we were very emotional. Our guys were ready to play. But I thought, you know, we almost had to kind of calm down just a little bit, let the game come to us. Um, you know, the drive in the first in the first quarter where we went down and got got points and got the field goal, that kind of settled everyone down. I think we had two three and outs or, or you know, two short drives there to begin the game. They scored a touchdown, just keep playing. And, uh, you know, there were some mistakes that we made that, that kind of cost us. But, you know, our guys you know, never lost sight, never lost focus. Halftime was awesome. Guys, I mean, their eyes were, were wonderful. I, I'm a big, uh, I believe in, how, in what their eyes look like. Their eyes were great. Everybody was confident in what we were about to do. And uh, they went out and did it. You mentioned Kenny. You know, I mean, and I know it sounds different. I never lost sight of, of who we were. What we do 365 days a year, it, it, that's determines, right? You, you, how you respond to adversity, how you how you go out there fourth down and one, and you got You have to get the yard. You got to go out there and you got to perform. And uh, you know, the the overall culture of our program is one that's continuing to grow. And uh, you know, that's that's something I'm proud of. But you know, being able to to physically dominate a game there at the end, you know, that being uh, the, the true mentality of who we are, um, you know, that was special. And uh, you know, the, the, our, offensive, our offensive line, our fullbacks, tight ends, JoJo Dorsey is something, I mean, you got to give a shout out to him. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a special brand of football. To be able to do that and to, to end a game, uh, that was it, was, it was a great moment. Well, Coach, that was my question, Coach. When do you make a decision to go to that pro style? I formation put JoJo in there, and it just it took it took all the football out of Houston. It did, and that was uh, you know after the fourth down, you know when we when we went on when we went on it, went for it, and then we hit it. Uh, to be honest, I said let's see if they can stop it. Tony Paul had a finish really, the game. I'm sorry, uh, Tony Paul had a really big game running the ball and catching the ball. Was it your plan to get him so heavily involved in the game plan, or did it just happen? You know, Tony's done done a great job throughout the year. Sometimes uh, statistics don't always tell the story. Uh, Tony's been a been a huge feature for what we've been doing. But people also know, you know, how he's going to move around and different things we're trying to do. Uh, today, the ball came to him a little bit more. We were able to get the ball to him on the perimeter uh, with some quick passes. You know, he had some great blocking by by uh, guys out there to, to extend some some big plays. Um, but he's he's been an incredible weapon. You know what he's done offensively really almost pales in comparison to the job he's done in special teams uh, because he is on every coverage unit he is one of the first guys down he's doing a great job for us everybody thinks about him for the return game but he's he, he's an incredible uh, player in every aspect for our team Same graphic of the touchdown was nice. so special I mean that I will remember that for the rest of my life because that that touchdown that moment our guys on that sideline I mean you think about that journey you know, what Sam Kraft has been through, what Jackson Dillon has been through. I mean, those guys it, it could not be more proud for this. Jackson Dillon didn't play in the first half. No comment. I can't imagine many head coaches uh, sit down at a post-game press conference and look at a punter on the stat sheet first or have the punter just well, when the punter jumps off the stat sheet, I mean, look at, I mean, that's, you know, 47 yards of a punt, uh, you know, flip the field in a championship game, you've got to be able to control field position. And they, there were a couple a couple kicks that he had that were incredible. And you see, that's a young man's redshirt freshman. You know, that was one of the biggest things in spring practice. Everybody asked me, you know, what was my biggest concern? It was that position. I want to see who would emerge and to see in that moment and what he's done the last few weeks, I mean, he has grown up. And uh, that is that is big time to be able to flip the field like he did. I thought, I thought last week he was dominant as well. I mean, he's had he's had some really good performances, but I mean, you, you punt the ball like that in the conditions we had, wow. What did you learn from last year's championship team experience as a coach, as a program that you'll take into this one? Uh, you know, going on the road, there's going to be there's going to be the swings. There's going to be you know, if you think back to that game, there were some mistakes that we made late um, with ev everybody with the right intentions. 
right? But we operate a little bit outside the system. And that showed up to us sometimes at, at points this year. Um, but that's what we have to grow from. We have to go out there and play our game. We've got to go in there, um, you know, knowing that we're playing a great football team. This is one we've seen this year. We know the talent they have. Um, it's going to be a heck of a matchup. But, you know, we just have to go out there and do our job and don't, don't let the moment be too big for us. That's why tonight was, or to this morning, whatever time it is, that was important. Because today you saw adversity. You saw that we started off maybe a little too, you know, too, you know, you know, geared up for the game. But we had to just settle down and play play football. And if we do that, this is a really good football team. And you know, I've got a lot of confidence in what we can do. Almost sure. every week it seems like we're asking about Garrell and for him to actually break that conference record today. Does that kind of just wrap up the entire season he's had this year? Well, you know, it's uh, he's had a great year, and uh, he's got he's a special pro player. He's a special person. Um, you know, him, Patrick uh, went for over 100 yards. Tony went for 80. Um, you know, so you talk about it's that is a that is a great group of young men. They all push each other. They all they all uh, you know, uplift each other. And that's that. You know, when you have that kind of chemistry, that's what allows everybody else to come on, come along with it. You know, the offensive line, tight ends, like I said, fullback, they deserve as much credit as anybody uh, because you, you get guys with those seams, and then you know, in every in every run scheme, you're going to have the, the the safety one on one with a with a back or a corner, and those guys have to do their job too. And you know, the, the, our backs have done an incredible job, ran extremely hard, uh, but for Daryl to to set that record, man, he, he definitely well earned, and uh, you know, extremely proud of him. So they get to celebrate tonight, and that's it, right? Oh yeah, but I think uh, they kick off here in an hour, so I need to. I need to probably get off off the stage. I got to go watch a game. So uh, now we're going to enjoy tonight. I mean, you never. This game of football, you know, there's so we talked it even throughout this press conference. You talk about the emotions. You talk about the swings. Uh, you gotta you gotta enjoy the the victories. You gotta you gotta celebrate uh, the growth that you see within a football team. But then you know you have to move forward. And we're gonna enjoy this tonight. Our guys are gonna go to work. We're gonna continue to climb on on our journey of what we want to accomplish. And we got one more game to try to go win the American Conference. And uh, you know I know we're gonna put everything we have into it. Mike, one of the biggest miles you guys have is climb. Um, I see the emotion in your face. These four games, what does it mean for these guys, not just to get to this point, but to dig back after the Missouri game where it was just such a low moment? Uh, you just get better each and every day. And that's, that's, that's our focus. Uh, you know, our, our, as we talk about that word climb, you know, every day you want to be a be the best version of yourself. It doesn't matter what happen happened to you yesterday, you just find a way to respond. And uh, you, these guys have done that. Uh, they believe in each other. They believe in, in our philosophy and our culture that we've established. And it's, it's, been, it's been a hard-earned culture. We, you, you have to work to be a part of this program because it's not just on a football field. Everybody go out and practice hard. But, you know, our guys get challenged academically. They get challenged socially. Uh, we hold guys accountable in, in everything that they do. And that's why, you know, in those key moments, you're ready. You're ready for when your number's called. And, uh, you know, I think our guys, they've showed that pretty well here at the end. From the first game up until this game, is there one particular area you think the teams have shown the most growth in over the entire season? I would say... I would say they've just matured. I think our football team has matured. I think that you know, some of our young leaders have, have uh, established themselves. I think our senior leaders have continued to work hard uh, to, to be the best they can be. But you know, I, I think you see guys that uh, have taken, taken the challenge. And uh, you know, they, I think our football team has just grown up. And because uh, you, you have to, you have to, you have to do that to be able to win a game like we just won, to, to win on the road last week, to do what we've done in November. Uh, so we need to continue to grow up and be ready for next week uh, down in Orlando. All right, guys, thank you.